Hey, Homewood. This is your neighbor, Elwyn Green, here for um, another edition, the second edition issue, whatever, of a day in the life. More specifically, a day in the life of a man in Homewood. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I'm at it again. It's 1.44 a.m. the night of November 2nd, morning of November 3rd, because I don't know how to go to bed. <clears throat> so uh, today, a large part of today was me being my own administrative assistant. And part of that was me trying to uh, make up for my lack of competence as an administrative assistant and running around just trying to fix stuff that you know I, I didn't get right. Um, <clears throat> so that's, that's that. Just uh, phone calls running around, that kind of thing. But the thing that's really worth mentioning is that this evening, I chaired a meeting of the of Race Street 2050. Uh, it's a nonprofit organization. I am the president, and to to let you know a little about what Race Street 2050 is, a little bit of history. <clears throat> In the <clears throat> early 2000s. Race Street was a center of gang activity in Pittsburgh. And um, in July of 2008, July 31st, a uh, couple of guys ran out or dashed out from some of the foliage on a vacant lot and uh, committed a double homicide, pow, 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 and then disappeared again. And at that point, one of our residents um, Minister Terry D. Fluker said, enough is enough, and this is too much. And he just started knocking on doors, talking to folks, trying to get us together. And uh, with the help of a community organizer at Operation Better Block named Khalif Ali, he put together a meeting held in the basement of Baptist Temple Church on November 1st, 2008, residents of Race Street formed the Save Race Street Committee 15 years ago yesterday. And uh, we just began working to, to make our street better and safer. We started doing cleanups, uh, yard sales, a variety of activities. Um, and in July 2015, uh, by that time, uh, Minister Fluker had you know, gone on to whatever is next in his life. And I was uh, the leader of the group. And we formed a nonprofit organization, Race Street 2050. And in our Articles of Incorporation filed with the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, where we declare that our purpose is to exercise care for race street residents and property owners and stewardship over our environment. So it's people first and then the environment the, of the street. Uh, just trying to take care of people and of our environment. Um, so that's it. And it's worth noting, I believe, because <clears throat> Race Street 2050 is street specific. I don't know how many individual, individual streets have their own nonprofit organizations. Uh, second, because it is all residents. And understand, Homewood has a whole slew of nonprofit organizations, but uh, in an environment full of non-resident professionals providing services to resident clients, 
Race Street 2050 is residents seeking to love our neighbors. So that's different. And I think it's worth noting. Um, and tonight, as I said, we had a meeting and I chaired the meeting and <clears throat> it was our first meeting in a while. And I personally have been in kind of a funk regarding the work. Uh, but meeting tonight was good for me personally. I hope it was good for the, no, nah, yeah, it was good for all of us. But it was especially good for me as the person responsible for leading the group. Uh, it's especially important that I be the best that I can be. And I had not been for a while. And I'm still not yet. But at least I'm on my way back to becoming or toward becoming. Uh, the best that I can be for my folks. Um, yeah. I've been in a kind of a funk. I feel like I, I feel like I'm beginning to get my mojo back. And when that happens for real and in full, I could be dangerous. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what I can do with my neighbors. All right, I'll shut up. Bye. Oh, do I stop this thing? <laughs>